The Bearcats had a little bit of an extra spring in their step at practice on Tuesday. Winning five of the last six games certainly has helped, but today it was nothing about football. After six long weeks, Mark Barr was out of the hospital and he walked back into the athletic building with his family. Just seeing the guys just make me smile. I, I, I can't stop you know, just seeing everyone. I had so much support and so much behind me. You know, it drove me out of the hospital. That's how I feel. So, yeah, I feel pretty good. You know, to be able to see him from, from, the, from the day this, uh, this wreck happened and now, it's incredible what, what God's done and what, uh, how, how hard Mark has fought and how, how well these, these prayers have, have been answered. Uh, what's up, boy? How you feeling, B? Good. Good, boy? Yeah. Smiling. Okay. What's good, How you feeling, man? Oh, man, it's a blessing, man. Just seeing my brother, seeing him walk finally. I came to the hospital and seen him like two and a half weeks ago, and he wasn't walking. He was just laying in the bed, but now he's walking, man. He's smiling. It's, it's, it's a blessing, man. Let us look no further for motivation than that of our fallen brother, Ben Flick, and Mark Barr, Lord. Since the automobile accident that took the life of teammate Ben Flick, both Mark and Ben have been in their teammates' thoughts. Many visited Mark in the hospital, but seeing him back on campus was indescribable. In the hospital, man, it just seemed like he was, you know, caged in, locked up, helpless. And, you know, seeing him here, it's like, you know, he's, he's free again. You know, Mark's ready to run. He's already talking about, I'm ready to go deep and score some touchdowns, you know, being back out on the field. You know, it's just a great feeling that, you know, he's back with us and he, he's back here in the football room and the football world and interacting with all the guys. They told, told us he wasn't going to make it. And when you see him and he's live and well, and he's like, he's normal. He ain't no different. Like, nothing changed about him. He's still funny. Like, it's, it's a blessing. Like, he, he's truly blessed. Like, we're blessed to keep, have Mark still here. Like, and be fun. Rambo again being great on the perimeter. Being During great. position meetings, a familiar face was in the back of the wide receiver's room. Mark sat where he had been six weeks earlier. But it's not about football. It's about a healing process that's been tough on these young men. But the love they have for each other has pulled them through. This is a family. This, this is a strong family. Everyone is there for each other no matter what it is. And no matter how far it takes, you know, how long it takes. Uh, it, it's, I can't say enough. It's, it's a family. It's a true, true, strong family. And I wouldn't trade it for anything.